Yeah, it's just um, really just you know my my confidence really and just my my work the work I put in. So it really it doesn't matter if I'm in and out or just you know like know what I'm doing now, having a big role, playing big minutes. You know, it's the work I put in. So it it allows me to um, you know, take on these heavy heavy minutes and you know this heavy um role in the offense. So that's really the main thing. Cam going off that, I mean, second I have a back-to-back, -back, you know, you guys have been shorthanded the first two times. Do you think fatigue caught up with you guys, all, especially down the line when, when they start to pull away a bit in the fourth? Yeah, um, fatigue definitely caught up with me. I ain't going to lie. It caught up with me. So, But, you know, when you're out there, you got to give it to y'all no matter what. But that was really the main thing. I feel like we ran out of gas a little bit, but we kept fighting to the end. Yeah, we was right there. Then they just started fouling us so we wouldn't get the threes up because we could have you know, we could have made the game a lot more interesting, but they, you know, get smart game plan on their part, following us and allowing us get the threes up, make it turn into a free throw game. So, you know, kudos to them. Copy. What's this been like for you? I mean, are you getting texts from people all over high school, wherever? And what has this been like? Yeah, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, hit me up, you know, saying they're proud of me and stuff. So that's really. And that's really good for me to have, you know, some support from back home, from my um, friends, family, you know, whoever, just support. And that's what you need now. You need a lot of people supporting you by, and having your best interests. So, you know, it, it, gets, it gets a little overwhelming, but, you know, I enjoy it because everybody, it just shows that everybody's watching. So that's, that's good for me. Yeah, it's real hard. Um, you know, because just being a competitor, you want to be in the game, you want to play. So when somebody keeps, you know, when the coaches keep telling you to stay ready, you're like, okay, but then you get frustrated after a while because you're like, I'm, I'm staying ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to hoop. But then, you know, you just got to do your part, do your role, and then when your number's called, be ready. And that's what, I, what, 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 ah, that's what I've been doing, just <laughs> staying ready for the moment, honestly. Cam, you talk about having the support from back home. Dorian Finney-Smith said that he's known you since you were 10 years old. What can you tell us about you all's friendship from growing up together into now what you're looking forward to the most to having him as a teammate? Yeah, that's, that's big. Um, you know, for him going to IC Norcom, uh, I went to go watch some of their games when they play like the Finley preps, you know, because IC Norcom was big when, when he was playing. So really just me going to the games, watching them play, and then, you know, coming through college, you know, having a few conversations with him about the league and how the league is. And then now, or well, well, like last year and a little bit before this year, um, playing against him, you know, I'm playing against him in Dallas. And then, you know, we still having to be teammates all of a sudden. So that's really a full circle moment. It's crazy. So I'm ready to get to work with him and go to battle. He said that you've always been a bucket getter and you've always been scoring like that. What was teenage cam like especially when it comes to on the court <laughs> the same cam y'all see no no funny no laughing all business getting buckets <laughs> it's i'm really the same way i've been it's just get it's just getting a lot more recognition now because i guess it's like a, a joke around the world or a meme but i've been doing the same stuff that i've been doing I, i'm not gonna lie so <laughs> so you know that's big that's good these last couple of games, I mean, obviously it's a historic stretch, but you're also, you know, these last two games are guys like Kawhi Leonard, Paul George tonight, Mikel Bridges, you know, like some of the better wing defenders in the league. When you see those guys across from you, does that, you know, add anything to your mindset in these games? No, not at all. Um, maybe, um, maybe you know, like when a game first start, I look at it, oh, you know, like to show me some respect, putting the best wing defender on me to start the game. But at the end of the day, it's still basketball. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get a win for my team, and I got to, you know, produce any way I can. So whatever I got to do, that's what I'm going to do. But obviously, I think it's a sign of respect from having, you know, Kawhi guarding me and then Mikel today. You know, then, you know, Clippers having, um, you know, a lot of doubling, trying to get the ball in my hands. So I really just look at all this as, like, respect, you know, from the league.